Next I feel photographer Ian Zar. How do you do? How do you do? Ian. What's going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video I wanted to talk about the new movie that has just been announced for the Jurassic Park franchise. The next film in the series is confirmed as to having been worked on for quite some time with David Kep, the writer of Jurassic Park and The Lost World, returning to pen the script and no returning cast from the previous movies showing back up. At least that's what we can expect based off of old information from interviews that was coming out around the time of Dominion. Now what does this really mean for the future of the franchise? And what kind of film are they trying to put together for release in what some people are saying is as early as 2025? So first things first guys, the next Jurassic Park movie may very well take place after Jurassic World Dominion. The movie could even go down the route of using Soyona Santos as the bad guy who got away in the middle of the film and then having Ramsey Cole or Kayla Watts or both of them tracking her down. But I don't really know if that would honestly be something fans would want to see to tell you the truth because if the movie starts up years after JP6 and there's no one from the last film series coming back except for these newer characters, all of which worked for Biosyn by the way. I have a hard time truly understanding what this is going to be, unless it turns into some kind of Fast and Furious sort of idea, which a lot of people are just not on board with at all, myself included. If this movie turns out to be another dinosaur black market or dinosaur auction out there for the heroes to thwart, I think that's kind of the same old thing all over again, and I don't really see that kind of thing you know, that they could even do with the story that feels engaging or even remotely like the Jurassic Park movies that people loved. But they did get David Kep back, who is the guy behind the first two movies, so there is something to say about that decision right there. And if this movie takes place after Dominion, I think Kep would actually focus on the dinosaurs themselves instead of just the idea of having a Dinotopia-like existence with the creatures not really being that big of a threat to humans, which just seems like a massive mystery opportunity after releasing them in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I mean, you look at how bad the iguana population uh, is that's taking a toll on Florida and expect raptors, a T-Rex, triceratops, allosaurs, and other animals to be easy to adjust to. It just seems very weird to me. I don't buy into it. Now, I don't think this is going to be a prequel, by the way, or a movie set in the past from the timeline because I just don't know if they're going to do that just yet, unless it ties into Jurassic Park Survival or something, which is a possibility, but until we get further info I don't want to speculate on that just yet with what we have available obviously if we take Dominion and run with the idea that Kayla Watts and Ramsey Cole are returning we are at the very least knowing that the guy that wrote characters like Roland Tembo Nick Van Owen Ray Arnold and Robert Muldoon that guy is now handling Ramsey Cole and Kayla Watts if they're using them which means if they are going to use the stuff from Dominion at the very least David Kep is returning to the universe with people he didn't treat like caricatures or anything. What I'm trying to say, make a long story short, is they're going to be written very different, and the way David Kep wrote characters from Jurassic Park and the Lost World is much better, in my opinion, than Dominion. Carnivores hunt on game trails. Do you want to set up base camp or a buffet? Do you two talk a lot? He slid into my DMs. The people in the first two Jurassic Park movies feel like they're in a different universe than what was in the last one, to me anyways. So if they are going to follow up on that stuff from the last movie, I will say we do have that going for us. But again, I'm not so sure they're going to be returning in starring roles at all. They may very well be more along the lines of how Franklin and Zia were incorporated into Jurassic World Dominion after having larger roles in Fallen Kingdom. Now, what we're all really here for is dinosaurs. This is what everyone is really going to be talking about. And with David Kep's return, I personally believe that the animals are going to become the focus again. They're going to be the driving force of the plot once more. Dominion's narrative revolved around Maisie being kidnapped and locusts destroying crops. Dinosaurs were in a lot of scenes, but they weren't really the point of the loss of control going wild in the movie, you know what I mean? And in fact, the whole dinosaur situation seemed to actually be handled kind of smoothly throughout the whole runtime. It was no problem. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience, I'd say. In fact, the dinosaurs are all over the world at the beginning of the movie, 
and it's also true of where everything winds up at the end of the movie. Biosyn Valley was burnt up real bad, and that contained the Tyrannosaur from Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, so I don't think she is going to be hoisted on a helicopter and freed again just to run around for another adventure. I think we're done with that T-Rex, we're done with returning legacy animals, and we're going to get something new here. With David Cap returning, I think we're going to be seeing a lot of different stuff. Probably new Velociraptors that are running around in packs again, possibly even a male T-Rex on the loose, which we haven't seen since Jurassic Park 3. I mean, you could argue that there was one in Dominion, but it didn't do anything. Maybe there's even a Spinosaurus returning or some other creature that has previously been tied down with like, they're not going to come back because we want to focus on Blue and the 1993 Rex. Now anything is game. I would go as far as saying that with this new movie, we're going to be moving away from a lot of the stuff that was, you know, a long running idea or gag in the Jurassic World trilogy. And this time we're going to be going back to just wild animals being out there with new creatures we've never seen before, new species, like entirely new stuff than what was shown off in the last three Jurassic Worlds. Now, as far as action goes, I don't know. We could get something along the lines of dinosaurs loose in the manner of which the T-Rex was at the end of the Lost World in San Diego, or maybe this is even a return to Site B. Who knows? We don't really have that much info. Maybe it's a combination of both, which sounds a lot like the Lost World Jurassic Park, which is a redo of something we've also already seen before. Look, maybe this is undertaking something entirely different. It's hard to honestly tell at this given point in time, but if you've been watching my channel before in the past, dude, there are so many kinds of ideas to tackle that they have abandoned in older entries. Camouflaging Carnotaurus is at a gas station, Pteranodons attacking people in paragliders, the T-Rex river raft chase, I could go on and on. There's loads of unused material to work with from older Jurassic Park movies, and now that David Kep is coming back, dude, do you know how much stuff he left out of the old older Jurassic Park scripts. In fact, one of my favorite scenes that was never adapted in any Jurassic Park film was Roland Timbo and Peter Ludlow rolling up on a T-Rex on Site B. It is scary. It is written awesome. If you want to check it out, it's both in its own video on my channel, as well as in the two-hour apocryphal Jurassic Park canon. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to go over, man. I'm just, dude, thank God that David Kep is coming back. I'm really excited to see what he does. I don't know if this movie is going to be any good. I've got a whole other video that I recorded where I basically went over like the pros and cons of there even being a Jurassic Park 7. Just my own personal thoughts and opinions. This is what I think we can expect going forward. More than likely he's going to pick up right after Jurassic World Dominion. I don't know if uh, Kayla and Ramsey are going to be returning and or Soyona Santos. I'm not sure how David would use them, but what would I personally like to see? Dude, Rick Joff and Amanda Silver's Planet of the Apes trilogy. That's what I think would be cool for Jurassic. But anyways guys, these are all just my own thoughts and opinions on the subject matter. I'm going to kick it all to you guys. What do you want to see? I want to hear what your thoughts on where this is going to go and also your concerns. Like, let me know if you even want a Jurassic Park 7 and why if you don't or if you do. Whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, love you guys. Love to hear all about them. God bless you in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I want to thank everyone that's helped me build my channel over the years. I'd also like to thank every one of you guys who've watched my stuff. You've all been extremely cool to me. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like and hope that you'll consider subscribing. God bless you all. Christ is King. See you guys in the next video. And as always, take it easy.